Hey everyone, how you doing today? I thought I'd show you a couple updates I've been working on and uh, just kind of playing with some things uh, and whopped up a new SV. Um, and I got a couple SVs here by another author and then I wanted to show you something with the uh, the SCAR modules or for the, uh, the Megalodon modules. Uh, so to start with here, let's go over to this new SV I whopped up uh, actually this morning. Um, it's a pretty quick build gotta say uh, it's a uh, interiorless uh, combat SV um, kind of a funky uh, design here it's using some wing pieces in there it's kind of a little bit of a wing beast uh, the wings have decent amount of hit points uh, what this is uh, getting designed for and again it's kind of experimental but it actually works so I'm probably going to continue with the build it was uh, I, I slapped it together pretty quickly I just started dressing it up right before the video um, I still need to add some more blocks to it yet on the uh, on the back side here on the bottom um, which is completely open right now it's got a lot of critical parts in this section here uh, so what this is doing here is it's running uh, two Gatling guns to shoot down drones it's got four laser cannons uh, and four laser turrets to uh, take down shields on POIs and then it's got six uh, plasma cannons to do damage to the POI uh, to shoot out the turrets or, or whatever um, it does have a SV heavy shield. It does have a detector, Wi-Fi, pentaxid tank, um, O2, um, just for the cockpit. There's no dispensers. There's no utility functions on here at all, like fridges or armor lockers or anything like that. So it's just pretty much um, a bare bones uh, creation. Kind of wanted it uh, kind of funky uh, looking. Um, it's just it's a weird ship. Uh, it, the idea, what I was doing when I was building this is, uh, well, it does have a, a heavy or, or armored uh, SV cockpit as well, but I was trying to keep like all these guns and stuff kind of away from the central area of the ship. Uh, I guess besides maybe these back ones are kind of close, uh, but they're also in the back. So I figure the AI would probably target uh, a lot of these guns along the sides over here. Um, and I'm hoping the range uh, of where they are versus where you sit is far enough away. And I do, do have steel blocks kind of uh, backing these up a little bit. And the wing pieces themselves have, uh, again, a, a fair amount of hit points for, you know, an SV, which is not a lot, but nothing really has a lot of S uh, or uh, solid hit points on SVs. So uh, basically I'm just trying to protect this area so it can take a, a hit or two and trying to keep a little bit of separation between at least the guns in this section here these are kind of right next to each other um, it's a pretty flimsy ship though I mean it does have some steel in it um, and then it does have carbon substrate in it and it depends you know uh, what I was doing like some of this fancy little stuff around the turret here this is carbon I did that just because you know the uh, the AI can shoot the the, uh, the at the turret and I'm I don't know. Maybe I should probably try to uh, harden that up a little bit more. I think this might be a steel block on the inside. Yeah, that one's a that one's a steel block, but these aren't steel blocks over here. So these would just uh, disintegrate upon anything. But it does have a heavy shield. So I mean, it was uh, obviously meant to uh, uh, be used with the shield on and active and stuff like that. As in its flying, um, the specs aren't so bad. Uh, uh, 64, 26 strafing, 51 lift, 10 down. So I'm I'm really uh, going cheap on the uh, the down thrust on this one. 19 reverse, not super wonderful on on the reverse either. Uh, fairly cheap, two hours and 33 minutes. I do wish these uh, these crafts just cost less though um, than what they do. It's uh, it'd be kind of neat if uh, if you could get something like this in within about an hour, hour and 20 minute uh, build time and. A little lower resource cost and I think uh, SVs could uh, have a pretty big comeback in the game you could uh, bring one of these in a lot cheaper than a, a CV that would be kind of designed to do the same thing but this is uh, obviously for ground POIs so I don't know just uh, just trying something I kind of I kind of like it I kind of like it it's a weird kind of diamond shaped pattern it kind of uh, reminds me a little of something you might see in some kind of Star Wars or sci-fi show maybe I don't know but uh, beyond that I've got a couple other things here oh uh, one last thing I just want to touch here what I don't like about this ship is it's miserable roll um, because it's wider um, your rolling is horrible and I can't really do a thing about it um, I tried 
um, and I guess you know maybe add more thrusters or up the CPU count on it or something like that but the the role is is really is crappy um, I don't know if that's gonna be a, a major thing on it or not uh, it's strafing is okay um, pitch and everything else is all right it's just the role because of it, it's a wider ship isn't very wonderful at all um, so and this is unloaded too so I imagine it would uh, you know if you had 10k of ammo in here and that that's what the ammo storage is uh, it'd probably be a little bit slower yet but maybe it, maybe it would be effective against uh, you know smaller shielded POIs and that's kind of what uh, this is about it's not really trying to go after end game anything um, and it's just a core six build and not uh, running a full core nine on it now if it was running a core nine I could probably add in a couple extra shield parts uh, maybe uh, try to give it some more thrust especially with the the roll rather than having like uh, two down thrusters it could have maybe four in there there is uh, it does have some larger lift thrusters here and it does it's using a single uh, fairly large uh, forward thruster which is plenty for this ship so it's kind of uh, doing that scar slicer uh, way about it to try to uh, save on CPU and not have like a big uh, or multiple thrusters going forward which uh, usually uses up a lot of CPU pretty quickly where this is actually, although it's a big thruster and it uses a fair amount of CPU, it's just the one. And I think that's helpful, and I, I was able to get more guns and stuff on there in the CPU range that it was kind of made for. So, a um, couple uh, other ships here by Captain Max Fox. Uh, I, uh, he wanted me to take a look at these, and these are, they're kind of, uh, they look, they look very scar-like uh, for, for, for sure here. So they really fit in with the whole theme here. And uh, this first one here, this is the uh, uh, UNG Starduster. And I was kind of looking at it, and it looks like a pretty big, beefy ship here. But then I was looking at the numbers on here, and I was quite impressed. Uh, as in uh, its build time, which is an hour and 21 minutes, and also its CPU stats. Uh, look at this thing. It's, uh, it's, it's staying within 12,000 here in Reforged Eden. That, that's what I'm showing all these at right now as well. Um, so, yeah, really affordable um, creation here. I was, uh, was kind of surprised. It looks pretty big. It looks pretty bulky. It looks like it was going to be kind of expensive. And it uh, really kind of uh, floored me when I looked at the numbers on here that it's, yeah, quite, quite inexpensive uh, creation here. I haven't looked at all the specs on it yet. Um, but uh, let's take a look here. So get inside here. Looks like we got some cargo boxes. Uh, oh, wow, it's got a constructor in there, too. Constructor, uh, storage bay, fridge. Looks like we've got another box over there. O2 station. Uh, another fridge. Uh, armor locker back over there. Cargo box. Another cargo box. Another uh, ammo controller up in this area. And then you've got uh, your cockpit access right here. So you can just kind of uh, click anywhere on there, and then you're in the cockpit course like any anytime you use one of these prefab cockpits co cockpits excuse me it's going to kick you out the uh the top of it um but uh yeah that's that's all you can really do about it you know it's uh how they how they got it set up it would be really nice to have an option to you know maybe you set a setting on that particular part when you place it hey exit top exit back you know that, that would really work out pretty good for a lot of uh uh, ships or SVs that have interiors in them and then you can walk back out into the interior and not go outside first which would be kind of neat um, so let's see what else is going on here let's uh, so I want to just take a look at the numbers here again so it's um, looks like more of a utility craft it's got uh, you can definitely take on some drones and probably some light combat stuff um, but it's not really real beefy with guns I wouldn't expect it to be at the price and, and keep in mind, this isn't like using anything special here. It's got a, a smidgen of titanium and a little bit of cobalt in the mix here, too. So not not much. I mean, very little. And that's not, you know, you're going to need this regardless if you have an SV, I think, um, due to the thrusters themselves. So I don't believe this has a shield or a warp drive in it because um, it just couldn't afford that in the CPU range. Uh, Stat-wise, uh, 34, 20 strafing, 22 lift, 20 reverse, 22 down. 
I just want to take a look at its storage here a minute too. So I got an ammo controller at uh, 5715. Um, quite a lot of boxes in here. And then we got oh wow, well, I got two other controllers beyond that. So we got one at 7K, two at 7K. So you got 14K of uh, storage, uh, 57. 15 ammo and then you've got a number of different boxes and other storage things too so yeah it's got a pretty nice utility uh craft and it's quite large uh considering um the price too it's just i gotta assume that this is made of uh probably uh oh, it's all steel here isn't it yeah quite a bit of steel in here so i think the whole hall is made with steel i was i was wondering if it was going to be made with carbon but no no it is steel I like the uh, the shaping here too. I like how this uh, this kind of swoops down here, and you got the the Gatling guns there. But this angle stays going with the rest of the uh, the craft here. That is uh, that is pretty cool. Quite a bit of uh, lift thrusters here. I imagine it's using all the the uh, uh, pretty small thrusters on this uh, build to keep the uh, the level unlock. You know, I didn't even look at that. What? Yeah, look at this unlock level seven. I missed that part of it. I was looking at the uh, these other numbers so much here. That impressed me on how cheap it was. Like this little this little bugger I made over here is like more than twice as expensive. Um, this is two hours and 33 minutes. Requires stuff. Um, but uh, again, it's running plasma um, cannons on six plasma cannons. That's going to be a fairly good chunk of change for SV. Um, different different role function. So um, obviously this is uh, utility storage. Uh, shoot down a. a drones and stuff like that um really cool though i you know again i looked at it and i thought wow this thing's going to be fairly expensive i just seen all these thrusters and didn't exactly know what 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 kinds of thrusters they were and stuff like that but uh it's not bad it's not bad at all I really uh the author was really mindful about prices and expenses and things like that um it does have a uh, hatch on the top here too nice drone hatch to hop down in there which is pretty uh pretty helpful for sure Get in the interior space and uh yeah as you can tell too it's uh i bet you yeah i'm seeing extra uh, turret mounts on here too so you got plenty of room to add in cpu core blocks it looks like too all these uh, filler blocks in these locations here so you can definitely uh jump this up cpu wise i'm sure you could probably slam in a shield uh somewhere in here or maybe actually yeah this is like a two by six area so i bet you a shield is meant to go right back here and then uh probably some cpu core blocks or maybe even an additional generator in the other areas but you got a lot of open interior space here too to add some more stuff to it so other than that yeah uh, really cool build really cool build it's uh quite functional um and especially really inexpensive uh, again it surprised surprised me a lot at its price so the same author made uh, this guy over here. This one I really freaked out on, thinking this was going to be like a psycho um, expensive ship here. It's got bigger thrusters. It's a it's a pretty big SV to start with. It's got uh, kind of a, a cockpit back in the back in this section, using armored glass in front of it. Um, quite a lot of strafing thrusters here, bigger thrusters as well. Uh, pretty big forward thrusts on here. And it uh, looks like it's going to have a fair amount of interior space, too. Let me, uh, well, let's hop in there a minute. Uh, i got to figure out entry point here. Does it have anything on the bottom? No. I bet you we got a hatch up top. Hmm. How do you get in you? Oh. Check. Oh. Oh, that's almost like a like a troop transport ship. I'm thinking maybe that's what this is. Look at that. So it looks like you kind of walk into the interior space right over there. You got uh oh yeah, cool. We got a uh 7.2k uh, cargo system on both sides here. A couple armor lockers. 7.2k uh, ammo. Glassed off areas around oxygen tanks over there. Another 7.2k ammo, so that's at least 14k of. Uh, uh, let's get more than that. There's another one here too. So, yeah, we'll look at the numbers here. A couple fridges over here. Looks like we got our seats here. So yeah, um, oh, and passenger seats over in this section, and then it does have a uh, cockpit up top. Oh, I'm not even back 
back far enough yet. I'll check this out. Oh, I was using ramps for uh, a way to get up to the top. Oh, that's a pretty slick idea. But there's no staircases or elevators or ladders or anything for SVs. And when you got to get up them, um, this looks like a pretty uh, pretty good way to do it, actually. I, I kind of like that idea. I never thought of using a uh, ramp here to, uh, to get up to the cockpit area on a two-story SV. Oh, look at this uh, glass section over here, too. This is pretty cool. I like a little uh, walkway around this, this edge here. Just curious on uh, what the hit points are on armored glass. It's like 200 hit points. So let's say versus a full uh, steel block, about 120 hit points. So these are stronger than the uh, the steel blocks. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, quite a lot of storage. It looks like a, a larger, a little more capable uh, utility uh, creation that, uh, to move around multiple people with. Um, seeing uh, quite a few turrets on here as well. So let's take a look at some numbers here. Uh, so unlock level 20 on this one, size class 3. Barely. 52.4. <laughs> uh, oh, that's pretty good uh, motion there. 52 forward, 33 strafing, 90 lift, 44 down, 52 reverse. Uh, definitely a longer build time on this one, 5 hours and 11 minutes. I would expect it, though. It's a much larger creation. Um, one thing, uh, let's see, what are the, the CPU? Okay, so this is a Core 9 build. Looks like it has some extra CPU available right off the gates. Uh, I was just kind of curious about its uh, warp and shield. Does this have those kinds of things in it here? Uh, you're not going to tell me here, are you? Uh, let's uh, get that going. So warp. Yes, we have a uh, yeah jump drive. Okay, warp drive there. So it does do warping. Just curious about if it's got a shield or not. It may not have a shield. Potentially, I don't know. Uh, does it just show up as shield core systems? This will be our, all our core blocks here. So we've got our, uh, our core 9 setup. Quite a lot of generators in here. So we've got six uh, small generators and uh, four advanced generators. Don't think I see a shield though. Unless I'm missing it here. Looks like it would have power for a shield. It might take that much uh, generators. Just to, It's got some pretty big thrusters on here. So I could see that happening here. What does it have? Uh, upgrade locations for some of these parts. Or maybe it's not really designed for that kind of thing. Again, it kind of looks more like a uh, utility uh, craft that you would bring down. Maybe when you're uh, running uh, with some people uh, through a POI, this would be your utility uh, craft on the side there where everybody can uh, get healed up and, and whatnot. And there is no uh, um, uh, clone chambers for SVs, unfortunately. Um, that would be kind of a neat thing there, too. Oh, we got a... Ooh, a, a lighting... Oh, check that out. Lighting change. So it's, yeah, red alert mode. So it, it docks, kick on the, uh, the lighting... They run all the uh, the players out, and you probably uh, raid the POI. I'm thinking, um, and also this this front area. I don't know. It's almost as big enough where you could almost dock uh, some real smaller uh, utility uh, like SVs or something on it. Um, anyway, again, really cool design here. And uh, let's let's look at the uh, the numbers here one more time. Um, just wanted to see if there's anything else going on here. So it does does need some of the Estrium and Zacosium for this build. Uh, again, I, I would uh, expect that with the uh, the forward thrusters on there. I think they use that um, as well. Yeah, and then uh, general uh, drone defense, uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, I would really think this is uh, really designed to uh, land near a POI that you're going to be uh, uh, braiding. Uh, bring a couple friends with you. Park this outside as your uh, utility, craft, um, storage, whatnot. Let's take a look at its storage as well here. So we are looking at the, uh, oh, I didn't even say the name. This is the uh, Tyrannus. Tyrannus, yes. Um, so we got uh, ammo co two ammo controllers at 72.50 each. Uh, four uh, storage controllers, and it looks like they're all at 72.50 as well. And then uh, not too many 
not too much in boxes in this one. You got a fridge, a lot, a lot of fridges, and a Pentaxa tank uh, for the warp drive. So, yeah, very cool creation. So, next thing I wanted to look at here was uh, storage modules for the SCAR. Now, Garman uh, pointed out that uh, the Astra modules uh, are pretty, uh, very close to being compatible with the uh, the SCAR module uh, base setup. And this was just kind of random blind luck because I wasn't really looking at any modules when I uh, came up with these bays and I just wanted to see what would fit there. And it just so happens that these, these modules are almost right on par with it, except for one minor thing. Um, like this, uh, this module here, this is, uh, this is by Philbert Farmer. Um, and this one here is the auto miner module. So I just grabbed one. There's many modules uh, for the Astra uh, type. And the auto miner module is basically where you fly this down to the planet. This parks right over auto miner. You sit back over here. You've got uh, kind of a, a way to uh, hop out there, loot the, uh, the stuff from the auto miner, put it in a box, and move on. And it kind of keeps you safe while you're doing it opens up this part of the vessel to land directly on top of the auto miner, which is a really cool idea here. But what I wanted to show you is how this connects to the, uh, the SCAR carrier right now. Um, it's a little off, but it's, it's close. Um, essentially, the front door would walk right into a wall here, and to, to make any of these modules work, and Garman uh, pointed this out as well, is the block right above here would have to either... I think change or move. I think you could change this block and have it um, have it work out. Let me get that one out of there. I'll probably put a temporary hole in there, and then you put like a uh, a grate right here. Let me uh, grab some parts. Um, can I do it with it? No, I can't do it with a shutter door. Let's just grab something cheap here. How about a uh, CV railing? I think would do the job. Oh, I got some of those. Um, so if we had one of these, and let me uh, set it to uh, turn that around like this. Oh, I might have to move that door, too. I think I, I do have to move the door. So let me, uh, oh, I'm not in survival. Why did I zap it out with a multi-tool? I'm not sure. So if we had that there, we put in a new uh, door. I'll just put in something here that's airtight. I uh, could put in a regular door, of course, too. And then um, this block here, let's put something back in place to seal the hole. How about a steel block here? And what block could do it? So we got a. Uh, now we're already sealed on the front, so all we really need is something up top. So I'm going to go with the thinnest block I can get up there that would uh, seal it just like that. And I think with that modification there, let's see how this works out. Let me get out of God mode, walk up here, and look at that. Look at that. So, yeah, and this should uh, remain airtight, I do believe. But did I block the, uh, I don't think I blocked the uh, the cockpit either. So, and this lines up too. Now, uh, one thing I, I realized I forgot to do with the SCAR <coughs> carrier, excuse me, is I, did, I didn't add those guiding LCDs to the, uh, the module base. Um, and there's a couple other things I think I forgot to do on it too, or, well, I, I didn't even think about it here. Let me get some fuel on this and we'll back this out. Oops. Kind of, uh, so let's, uh, come back up for a dock again. Oop, I'm a little, I'm a little shaky here on my docking. Sorry. Things have just been. Really, why, won't, why won't you dock? You just you were just docked. Okay, let me uh, balance you out, and you're supposed to line up kind of about the middle of that uh, that particular item there. Oh, clip in the ceiling or something when I'm coming in. Maybe I. Oh, I had just an easy time docking it the first time. I don't don't know why it's not docking this time, and falling. Why is it falling? Oh, I don't know. What is going on here? Let me take a look. Yeah, we got our... Uh... Yeah, so it's got landing gear exactly where they should be. 
What is uh, tripping this up here? I really don't know. It's solid, flat solar panels on the top. Why don't those... Uh... Yeah, come on, dock. Oh, it did dock this time. Okay, I don't know what I did wrong. But yeah, it docked up just fine here. And then we could uh, literally... Let me see if uh, this allows me to go through that way. Okay, so we're out of God mode. Yeah, yeah, that works. Quick modification. So I just wanted to kind of uh, throw that out there that uh, you can use Astro modules with the SCAR um, Megalodon or any uh, future SCAR creations that use uh, uh, this uh, module type, which I, 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 I wouldn't change the, uh, the, the module size for any uh, future SCAR creations. I'd keep it all like this size here. But, uh, yeah, that is really cool. So that... Uh, Adds a whole bunch of functionality right off the gates here using a module uh, set up by uh, Filbert Farmer, which is, uh, yeah, that's, that's really cool. So I've got this uh, little module here that I'm going to probably, uh, I might scrap this one. This was a farming module. Um, I didn't texture it, but I don't know if I really see the need for a farming module. And I, and I was trying to make like all the side walls on this using like half blocks. It didn't need to do that though. And it's kind of a waste um, that could have been, uh, like uh, even container uh, extensions or something going down the entire sides of this or solar panels or, or something else. Um, so that's something else I wanted to work on here in the near future is a module. Um, now, how are these modules going to react to the Astra uh, uh, loading setup? Um, I might try to work that out into the build too. I'll have to see how it all works out, but... Maybe these are backwards compatible uh, the other way. The only thing is the door is going to be uh, a little off. But it's got this little uh, this area over here. And I think might make all that work out. Like maybe these could be modified the same way that the other one was modified to make them both compatible. Didn't really want to change the module base on, the, on this, this carrier because they're, you know, I don't... Uh, that would mess up people, if anybody, especially if they're already making uh, modules for it. But, yeah, I just wanted to kind of point out that these things are uh, completely uh, compatible um, with that little bit of modification on the front of them, which is I thought was just really cool. Uh, that, a com complete blind coincidence on that one. Uh, it just happened to be the same relative uh, width and uh, totally fitting within the, uh, the length to... Um, the length on these module bays, at least, yeah, I mean, they can stick out over the edges and it doesn't really cause any trouble at all. So I just wanted to throw those things out there and uh, uh, let me know what you think about all this stuff. Um, you like this idea for uh, an SV or you think it's a little too flimsy? Um, again, it's it's not really built for strength. Um, if, I, if you try to build SVs for strength, uh, you're either going to really tap into a lot of CPU or it's they're going to be really, really sluggish moving around, and I'm trying to avoid that and uh, depend again on shields. Um, the last SV I think I made that was a lot more armored was the Scar Glaive over here. I don't know how this one does. This was a solid Core 9 build when I made it, uh, but it was for, for vanilla. It looks like it would uh, translate pretty good to uh, Reforge Eden. I'm just kind of curious... Yeah, it would be kind of a, a little bit more of a sluggish one. And I was complaining about my new uh, craft not rolling. This thing doesn't roll at all. Um, or thir well, I guess it, do it does roll some, but 13 is pretty pretty light on that one. Um, this is a more expensive craft again. Again, this SV here was more of a tank style SV. Um, quite a bit of uh, turrets on here, but you still have some fixed weapons as well. And I think it's running uh, four plasma launchers uh you got uh, four gatling guns down over here four rocket launchers over here um and if i was going to use this in reforge eden i think i would actually change the uh, weapon loadout on it as well um don't really think i would have so many mixed weapons uh it's probably done uh when i first built this i believe it was the weapon limitations is what it was following so you couldn't really run four or more than four of any of these weapon types. So it's got like the uh, th uh, three different weapon types on here plus the uh, the laser turrets. And um, yeah, I would have probably, uh, I think if I was going to change this around, I would probably uh, swap out maybe the gats for, for lasers. 
and maybe the rockets for more plasmas or the plasmas for more rockets and just keep it one or the other but you fight fire eight at a time rather than four at a time which is going to do a lot more damage that way so <coughs> excuse me again man been uh, kind of congested a little bit lately but anyway uh yeah i just wanted to show you all these uh these interesting things here and these uh these uh, two other creations are out on the workshop i'll put links to these in the video description if you want to check these ships out uh the, or this the steam links to the workshop and you can grab these by uh captain max fox um yeah pretty impressive especially on the numbers the uh uh, again, it kind of surprised me. I looked at you know the overall size of these, thinking you know this was going to be a, probably a core nine, and you know this one. Well, I, this one is a core nine, but this one looked like it would be uh, uh, requiring some quantum cores just by its uh, physical size and things like that. But it, it doesn't. Um, so they are they are quite well built in that in that manner for sure. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Um, I'll uh, I'll work on a on a module um probably next and maybe uh, get this thing uh, finished up and textured and uh maybe i'll try it out in a uh, game and see how it does um and this could be for excalibur's challenge again i wasn't so sure on this one it was a very experimental craft uh, i don't i normally build most uh, svs with interiors but uh i was just trying to be really uh, practical on this one in the in the sense of not using so many blocks and not having it you know super big trying to save as much cpu as i could to get more firepower on it um like the uh, the single forward thruster on it and stuff like that and make the body looks like it was uh meant to fit that kind of thing um where i normally would have uh at least uh um, symmetry thrusters on the uh the back at least two forward or more <laughs> Anyway, y'all have yourself a great day, and I'll talk to you later.